I was hoping she'd blow out again. Let me just, couple, I think we're close. I, I'm waiting, I feel like she needs to just have one more release. And so what I'm doing is just kind of swinging it, bringing her life up, bringing it back down and hoping that she'll kind of recover. There it is, <laughs> on cue too. See, when they're, when they're tense through their ribs, that ridge that I was saying I'm feeling, that's them holding their breath. And they're, they're staying tense. It's like, if you work out, there's a time to exhale and a time to inhale and a time to just hold it. So when you're doing so, when you're about to do something really physical, you, you engage your whole core and everything. Well, horses stay there. And that's what she's tending to do even now. There she's coming out of it with her ears. So she's pretty introverted about it. But when you can get them to bend their ribs and that relaxed rein, that's why it's truly a recovery strategy. Gets them to breathe. And that's why it's also important to do a little cantering. Because that cantering, when they're moving their feet that much, they gotta breathe. And so that's kind of what led to this.